cannot get over the steering wheel. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. I thought it'd be it'd be nice to kind of take a break in diagnosing my uh, my car issues. That's why you know the last video was the install of my steering wheel. And this video is another mod install. It's not gonna be further diagnosis on my car. I have a few other theories behind why uh, I'm getting that low fuel pressure, but that's for another time. Let's just do a good old fashioned install video. So you guys saw a while ago, I picked up a Cartboy shifter from my STI transmission swap that I did. Um, I used to have a Cartboy on my old five speed. Ended up selling that of course, when I picked up this. Now we have just a regular stock shifter and I'm just over it. So uh, I really like Cartboy. I like the products they make. And um, yeah, we got the little Cartboy short shifter. Um, another reason why I'm doing it is this little carbon shift boot delete. As you can see, like this is my neutral position and the shifter is put so far back and like the throws are so long. So it actually hits when I go into like second or fourth or sixth or whatever, right? Um, or especially reverse, um, it will hit. So I'm hoping that's going to kind of resolve my issue. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. And uh, I'm excited to install this thing. Before we do that, you guys probably realized, I posted this on my Instagram, but if you're not following me, you should be anyway. Um, you would have seen this. I actually had some vinyl that was pretty close to World Rally Blue. And um, I was gonna use it for something else, but then I actually like measured the circumference of this and uh, put a little 12 o'clock mark. I think it honestly sets off the steering wheel like so much better, right? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I thought it looked pretty good. It looks pretty center. Am I right? I don't know. I mean, I tried this like my second attempt, but let me know what you guys think of that because I think it was pretty cool. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and um, move this guy out of the way. Take this guy out, which you kind of pull towards you and up. Mine's a little bit harder just because of this oh, little carbon thing. So I have to kind of finagle, finagle. Here. Boom, right there. And just kind of get this guy out of the way. Obviously, mine's a bit different because I have my airlift running through there. And if you guys have never seen my uh, install with the STI stuff, you can see my little DCCD control right there. It's literally just double sided tape. This is the brains for my whole DCCD swap uh, for that. So that's a pretty cool spike. But that, anyway, um, now that this guy's off. First things first, safety first, wear your glasses. The reason why I actually have them on, you have to go under the car, and what's different about the STI is obviously the reverse lockout, which is this mechanism here. As you can see, I actually can't move it. Oh, okay, well now I can because I just accidentally popped out what I was about to show you. So you have to get a little Allen. There's a hole uh, through this little piece. That piece then goes through into a little hole pretty much where the transmission is. Um, and that's going to hold the reverse lockout from moving. The reason being is you're actually going to get this little pin here. And I'm going to knock that guy out. But I want that to stay where it is, essentially, if that makes sense. Um, because when I replace everything and do the short shift, um, I'm going to have to have this cable be stationary. And that's why you put uh, that guy, you know, the Allen that you guys heard fall out. Yeah, i got to put it back. Anyway, I'll show you where it goes. And we'll come back up here. Be ready to go. Really hard to film down there, so I'll just throw a screenshot of what that little piece that you put it in looks like. Um, and then what we're gonna do is loosen these guys up. These should be 12 mils uh, if it's stock. Um, so there's just a little nut on this side. Bolt goes through. Already loosened up the nut there. So I could take that guy out. I think next, what I'm gonna do, oh, I could take off the shift knob too. Let's just get this guy off real quick. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to hammer out this little pin here. Um, and I think next I'll work on this little C-clip. Got the pin. So we got both shifters, of course this is the OEM one, you can see how much longer that is and even the placement of like uh, the actual shifter lockout as well for the reverse. So you know everything lines up, looking pretty good, I'm gonna, this is all also the pieces, um, this is what that little pin was holding right there, the pin uh, slides through there, oh god, pin slides through there, um, this spring is obviously what you feel when you actually 
uh, go up and down and this is the little cage that was holding the ball down here so I got some uh, some fresh grease as well I'm gonna lube with the ball got those uh, I'm gonna clean everything up and just put everything fresh so I'm gonna go ahead switch these guys out we're ready to go so normally if you're installing this on your STI you're supposed to disassemble take out this little o-ring here you can see it's freaking filthy on uh, my stock one but like I said I did get the shifter used so it already uh, has swapped over the little o-ring that you need to put inside there just want to kind of show you guys that so um, there's just two screws in the bottom holding this guy on uh, I believe this thing just is a little recessed for actually putting your shift boot up um, if I'm not mistaken so um, and obviously sets the height for the reverse lockout so anyway um, that's what you're supposed to do I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back on We're ready to go right I got my pieces swapped over got a little grease on the end there got this guy all cleaned up ready to go and back to install all right not gonna lie to you guys it was hard it was hard the part that I thought was gonna be hard it was hard so that little Allen that you're supposed to stick through the hole to make the reverse cable that comes through here to hold in position be way easier if you had another set of hands so you could fully extend it so that you would have a lot of room to stick the pin back in. Getting the pin out is not that big of a deal. Getting the pin back in is kind of hard because it's probably impossible to see in there. Let's see, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. There it is, that little cable has a hole through it. And you have to go through this piece here, then the actual shifter, then the hole that's in there while the cable is spinning. It's absolutely awful. What I ended up doing is going in from the other side, holding it in position just about halfway, starting the pin, having the pin come through until it touches this guy on that side, um, pull this guy out and then have the pin go all the way through. It was quite a process. It was honestly pretty ridiculous. But uh, no, we're making progress. I'm gonna go ahead, tighten the main bolt down here, and then uh, throw on the bezel, throw on the shift knob, and we should be good to go. Uh, but I should tell you guys, there was a little sleeve here that I just took off. It was damaged um, from before, if you guys saw. It was just like kind of, it had a huge black mark on the side. I didn't like how it looked. Um, I think it looks a lot better all black. The sleeve, I didn't see as necessary. Um, but I guess I'll find out if I actually do need that sleeve or not. But I mean, everything seems to work. The reverse works, you know what I mean? So I can't see why I would need that. Just aesthetically, it probably looks better, but I like the more like raw look where you can see everything, if that makes sense. I'll show you the sleeve in a bit. Wait. All right, so as you can see here, um, clearly it does look a lot shorter, which I'm really, really stoked on. Um, it's all black instead of the silver kind of collar that I'd had before. So I think the black totally works. It totally flows. I'm really stoked with it. Um, just looks super OEM plus. Let's see if my problem is resolved. I already kind of already tested it, but you can see how close it gets, but it doesn't actually hit like it used to hit last time. So I'll show you, go first, looks good. But because it's shorter, Look how close it gets here. This is a perfect look. See, but it doesn't actually hit. Boom. See how close that is? Boom. The one where it gets the closest is reverse. So it does kind of tap, but it's like, I honestly am, I'm okay with that. Um, just because that doesn't. First, second, third fourth so close it is but it's all right i mean it's gonna work as long as it doesn't hit i'm fine with it reverse it kind of taps a little bit um from this guy here but not that big i almost forgot to put a zip tie right there it was on there oem um i think it's just like kind of like a safety thing maybe hold it away from the drive shaft or something i'm not sure but it was there before so i just replaced it with the all black one uh you can barely see it so just do that, you know? Just don't forget that. Now, before I forget, because um, I told you guys, I was going to show you what piece I didn't put back. Um, is this little guy here. It's actually not even metal. Like, it feel, like, feels plastic. Um, and everything else is, like, metal. And I really like how it looks without it. 
So this is what I was talking about right there. You can see it's like kind of damaged or like black, you know, just gross. Um, took off some of that silver paint. So that's how it was like before and I just didn't like the way it looked. And I liked it a lot better without. So that would normally go here but I like the less silver look. So anyway, I like how it looks. I'm really, really stoked on uh, the way it came out. <laughs> Honestly, I'm super stoked on this. I'm really happy with how this came out. The all black, lot shorter, lot cleaner. I'm really pumped on this. Definitely make sure you let me know what you guys think. I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.